see, I must have been 38, and my nephew came over to visit me, and he had been born in camp. And uh, he was at Berkeley at the time he was taking a class in uh, sociology, and they mentioned Manzanar. And so that was the first time that he had heard the word Manzanar outside of the family context. So, because when the family got together, if we talked about Manzanar, we joked about it, and he didn't even know what, oh yeah, he was born there. It was some, <clears throat> some kind of camp. <clears throat> but when the sociology teacher mentioned it, just mentioned it, it perked his interest, so he came to see me. And he said, um, Auntie, you know, uh, I was born in Manzanar, but I don't know anything about that place. You know, well, what was it? What can you tell me about it? And I said, well, didn't you ask your mother and, he, and your father? And he says, yeah, but they won't talk about it. And they changed the subject. It's as, it's as if I'm doing something wrong by broaching the subject. So I said, well, sure, I can tell you a little bit about Manzanar. And so I began telling him about Manzanar the same way that we always talk about it, you know, the lousy food, you know, and the mess halls and so forth, and the windstorms. And, and I said, oh yeah, we played baseball. You know, I just made it look like it was really some recreational camp. But Gary, he's a product of the 60s. You know, he has a much higher self-esteem, <laughs> feeling itself. And he's looking at me and he says, Auntie, this is really weird. He says, you know, you're talking like being in a prison, like it was nothing. I mean, we like, how did you feel about that? And uh, for one moment, I allowed myself to feel. You know, no one ever asked me how I felt about that incident. And I just broke into tears, and I just became hysterical and could not, could not answer his question. And of course, he, it embarrassed him because he didn't know what he did to send his auntie into his hysterics. I didn't know what was happening. I didn't know what, I thought I was having a nervous breakdown. 